Welcome to the continuum. What are we doing this time around? Well, metal detecting relic hunting. What else? Except this time, Keebs is looking at what he's calling the big H. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On this very large piece of property that we have been working, myself and Keebs go out looking for a site that has only been mythical up to this point. Very far off a maintained road. We know we gotta go through a lot of woods. We need to cross a ravine. Hopefully there's no water. And we hike and we walk and we search and we look. And all we're running on is topographic maps and instincts. Well, it looks like we're getting close. You can see wall off in the distance. Real big. And when we get to this site out in the middle of nowhere, it's loaded with stuff. Literally one swipe. Oh, wow. I already know what it is. Oh, wow. That's a small symbol. Oh, look at that. I got a shoe buckle frame. We spend several hours swinging, digging, and just can't believe it. And at the end of the day, it figures. We're almost out of daylight. We find another site next to it. That's more proper of a hole than the one across the way. But the problem is, and you know you've all been there, you get carried away, involved, and then you realize, uh-oh, it's almost dark. Do you remember where we parked? Um, it was in the woods. Just a note to any of you who go out and do things like this, leave before it gets dark. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one. So sit back, stay tuned, and hold on to something. While we're getting through the bup, bup, bup intro, I just went to the post office because all of you who are awesome enough to buy new hats gave me the opportunity to go there, ship them all, and boom, I'm up one. That's right. I also want to thank everybody that just keeps on clicking. Liking, sharing, and commenting is helping stealth diggers grow, and we appreciate it. Let's get right on to the digging footage because Keebs and I had a great day and you're not going to want to miss this. I may pop in and out throughout the video for commentation purposes. If not, I definitely will be back because I want to do a few shout outs. And go! It's all about the signs, like that wall, the sun, an instinct. Ooh, yeah. Wow, if this is it. Ain't much for being rock lined. The only thing that got us close was we just popped over into a cow lane. Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, let's find out. button. Button? It's a button. All right. Well, with a culture like that, walking as far out into the woods as we did, this was about a 45 minute hike. This has to be it. This has to be our home site and there's not much left of it. All right, let's get to it. It wasn't very deep at all. I'd, I'd say two inches. Musket ball. A musket ball. Oh, it's on a marble. That is two. We'll hit it with your uh, device. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a drop musket ball. It's Beautiful. got the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, mold, the the casting. <laughs> yeah. You know, that thing. Well, we did good. That, that wasn't that easy, was it? <laughs> Crazy. Unbelievable these spots are out here. Oh, yeah, it's actually starting to flood out. Well, that's a nice solid mid tone. Oh, damn. Wow. What is it? It's a Tomback, and I literally just wiped it off, and it was like a silver coin that just popped out, and it's got fancy keeps. Oh, wow. And the other side? It's got a shank, I see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a beauty condition with a, is it monogrammed or just a design? 
Yeah. Good design. Fancy baby Tom back <laughs> with the shank, I see. Yeah. Let's go see what Keeb's got over here. So this is definitely the button side. Yeah. Of the hole. Yeah, you're not too far off from the other two. Let's see what he got. This is interesting. It's this is definitely a mid late 1700s site, mm. but it's quiet. It's like there's not even much iron over there. Yeah, which is good because when we swing over the ground, we're not you know battling with so that was interference. Eight inches down. Nice. Mm. I think I got a knee buckle. Right. Yeah, that, again, eight inches deep. The buttons initially right off the start were like right on the top. You saw that signal, it was barely showing up. Well, as you can see, this is what I was fighting under. Yeah. About eight inches down. Design, lots of design. Oh, awesome. Unbelievable how ornated that is. Great. Wow. And yeah. do you get something over there? Yeah. All right. Well, let's go check in with Keebs. I already know what it is. Oh, wow. That's a small thimble. Child dog. I don't pinky. even think that would fit my pinky. What about your pinky toe? Yeah, it's a pinky toe. Wow. Beautiful. And so, the usual approach, when it's myself and Keebs, I'm tickling the lip. He's orbiting, and but right now, today, he's doing a very uh, light synchronous orbit maybe 30, 40 feet out from the hole, so. Mm. Nice cubes. All right. Boy, that improved. Jeez, it looks like the button you just dug. Wow, look at the uh, patina marks in there from, yeah. from where. You got one too? Yeah, broken shank. There. Well, so far so good. We've been here less time than it took us to walk in. Remarking that the guy had bricks means he wasn't the first in town. Physically standing in the hole. And as you can see behind me, this is the cave-in. It took a long time for that thing to cave in that you can barely even see that there's still rocks visible. I got a signal over here. It's a blowhole button. Damn. I think that's only the third one I've ever found. What's really neat about that is why they put the holes in them is so when they put the two pieces together, gas, fumes, air, and everything else from the production of making it could escape. Awesome. button once again similar to the other ones we dug this is great and as i've stated before some people just don't get excited over buttons this belongs to the people who lived here well over 200 years ago and when we take this stuff put it together log the location and have the relics of the people who lived here that's just awesome swinging under the trees eh yep. i'm getting cold <laughs> These people had money. Oh, look at that. Second. Third. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. It looks like one, two, three. Oh, yeah. That's in great shape. Wow. Wait for that to dry out some. And... Wow. And as we've stated before, these people up here were early settlers, and they didn't have much money. That's why they lived on land like this. They bought what was cheap or yeah. an early grant, you know? Beautiful. Is that the same tree? Oh no, you're over just a little bit. Hexagon. Whoops. Oh wow. I think there's design on it and a shank. Oh yeah. Look. Ooh, pretty. Nice. The stuff here's been good and different. Yeah. So I'm right back 
pretty much where I started. I keep going round and around. Uh, that fancy tomback was right here. Got another mid-tone signal. Part of a shoe buckle frame. And more. Helps when this is on. Oh no, it's a button. Well, that was cool. All right, so I had a feeling this was gonna happen. I've been cleaning brush as I go along. And in here, under that, I got a signal. So if you know what that means, I gotta get in there and get it. Unbelievable. Oh, the newest thing is the most buried under all the crap. <laughs> awesome. 6061. Well, now that I've cleaned it, it's actually one of those blowhole buttons, but it's been all crushed and mangled still. That's great. So as it's getting late in the day, I just had a thought. See the wall right there? The wall right there? I don't think that's a cow lane. I think that's what's left of the old road cutting through here. So what I'm going to do is up here in this lift, I see a little bit of rock wall, which if it's not connected to anything else, that's usually a little bit of an indicator that it's not for keeping animals in, out, or farming. So I'm gonna take a peek up here. I have a feeling that we're on an old road. This is what I'm talking about. I saw that through the woods. Tell me that that does not look like a lip. That's more proper of a hole than the one across the way. And your chimney stack. All right, so we'll tickle this for a bit. This is what makes what we do pretty efficient. This is looking in an area where civilization has grown up all around it and choked off the, uh, the old road from both ends. Wow. And I walked right up and I got a signal. 50. Flashing. Well, we've been here a few minutes and already we've both commented it's noisy, tons of sheet metal. Thought I was dealing with a sheet metal signal here, but after removing some sheet metal, that's starting to sound really clean. Oh, wow. That's not sheet metal. I got a shoe buckle frame. Yeah, mangled but full. Look at that. I know. Well, it's a good thing I didn't care. It sounded like sheet metal. And like Keebs just said, we're almost out of time. I am literally in the wake of the chimney stack. Nice. Dinnerware knife, a bit of bone scale left on it. Very cool. <laughs> I do not know what for though. It's in good shape. It is. It's weird. Weird it's linking, huh? Yeah, big links to a uh, double link. Not to be confused with clink. Dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. Or Lancelot. Right. Well, look what I just extracted. There's something in there. in the dandyish area. I'm right on the sill where the house sat. There's a bed of rocks. I'm almost at the corner, right to the chimney. Nothing has come out of the ground easy here. Oh, it's out. There's no way it's still in the ground. Crack. Wow. <laughs> Was that not the loudest button in the world? Yeah. It must have been because it was on that rock. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, I said the numbers were a bit low, but still, nice. That's definitely a coin. Yep. 
Yep, that's a large Jeep. There's the threshold. Right there, Keebs is walking right in the door. Hey, clean your feet off, man. Jeez, you live in a barn? <laughs> yeah, it ain't deep. Well, we're all rocks. There it is. It's that George guy again. That's a two. Look at that. Almost can see her. Wow, almost, almost the same exact condition as the one I pulled. Well, yours is in really good shape. Look at that. It's all bent up. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Scramble for the end of the daylight. I don't care if we can't find our way out. This is too good. <laughs> I got another screamer. So, <laughs> Keebs is looking at what he's calling the big H. <laughs> yeah. He comes over here, he's like, that's gotta be a coin. Kicks the dirt away, I tickle. And tell him to get the flip <laughs> out of here. Oh yeah, man. Why is it every year, the end of the year is oh, always- Oh, no. Oh, whoa, nice. Well. Big quality brass buckle right there. No kidding, huh? Uh, boy, is that? Yeah, that was it. Wow, huh? 83, 84 on my machine, so. Yeah. Either way, nice relic. Yeah. Well, I think I dug my last target. I got another button for the day. I hate to say it, but to be sensible with the path that we took in here, yeah. we should probably get out of here, which sucks because this is unbelievable. I mean, literally, there are targets everywhere, and we're, we're manically running around, and... Another button? Or a coin. Or a coin? It's a coin. It's a coin. God, I hate the oncoming certainty of winter. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Ooh. Is that two? I don't know, between the camera light... Yeah. I mean, lack of camera light. Lack of daylight. Ooh. Let's end right there. Yeah, okay. We yeah. will be back here undoubtedly and i just i can't wait so log this is the first time myself and keebs ever could not get out the way we went in because once you left this home site it was an hour hike in every direction with no walls thank goodness that big bad moon was on the rise because that's all we had to follow You said we're looking for a tree, right? A tree, yeah. Well, as you were all watching earlier, ah. okay. the way we came in earlier was terrible. We were hoping to leave early enough to uh, plot a course to come back in. We just know we need to head south. Well, at least we got a wall to follow. Holy crap. We just had about 50, 60 turkeys jump out of the trees. <laughs> this almost got turned into a Hitchcock movie real quick. That sounded crazy. You remember where we parked? What's that? Do you remember where we parked? Um, it was in the woods. Just a note to any of you who go out and do things like this. Leave before it gets dark. Well, we've hit pavement, so that's a good sign. Oh, there's the truck. Literally, somehow we exited from the other direction. So, as always, and very typical for us, an amazing place we find at the end of the season and at the end of the day. We weren't there more than 45 minutes, but we will be back there next week and we bring Ninjen and holy mackerel. Oh, wow, it's an Indian head. That's what was raining. Oh. Whoa. Wow, excellent job. Right in the cave in too. Ah. Told you it was gonna be a good day. Oh. <laughs> so very importantly, so you don't miss any videos, because not only is there the Thursday videos like this, there's stuff coming out during the week. You gotta click on that notification bell. So when I publish something, 
you'll get the ta ding and you'll know there's a new Stealth Diggers video. All right, before we go, I want to do a couple shout outs just to say hey. Hello, Beer Digger. Hello, NC Dirt Detectives. Raggy Ragsdale. Brian Bala. 143. Drew ID. Dakota Collins. Miss Pete Sidewalk. And a very special rest in peace to our friend Henry D, who is an SDN member and faithful viewer of the channel. And that's it, everybody. Cherish every moment. Until the next time, stay young, always keep them guessing, and live free or die. Oh, and Smoking Joe's got a funny story for you. It's hard. <laughs> There's a story behind Trooper Bry gagging on the vape hit he just took. And the vape that he was just using, which I'm going to be doing a review on. Right. Or Steven's doing a review on. So, Smoking Joe went to a vape show. And when he showed up at the shack this morning, he had the hookups. He's going to tell you the story of how he got the hookups. This is a riot. All right, so some of you might know that I do vape along with smoking cigars. So yesterday I decided to go to a vape convention. As I'm walking through the door... <laughs> That was not my flag. <laughs> wow. Pardon. So I walked through the door of this vape convention and uh, they rolled out the red carpet for me, basically. How you doing? It's good to see you. How long are you here for? You here for the weekend? No, I'm just here for the day. I'm gonna stay a few hours, get some stuff. Hand me bags of stuff. Every person he walks up to is looking at him like, wow. Here, try this. It's, Let me know what you think of it. I'm so glad you showed okay. up at the show. Are you going to be here long? He's just like, I have no idea who these people are. But you were thinking to yourself, wow, everybody these here is are so really nice. <laughs> Within 10 minutes, I had a couple hundred dollars worth of juice. <laughs> Walk by another table, and a guy hands me, brand new in the box, this. A full-blown mod game. Hey, good to see you. Do me a favor. Do a review. Test this thing out. Let me know what you think. Really? Okay. Well, give me your card. I'll get in touch with you. I'll let you know. And at any it's... given point, were you thinking my, your stealth digger's notoriety had spread to the vape world? Or you were just like... <laughs> Here's what you could see. Joe's, you never know. Yeah, Joe's cruising around the joint, and he's got a bag full of stuff, because everybody is just so excited to see him... <laughs> and give him new product until that one woman you started walking up to started. Steven, I'm glad you're here. I can't believe you made it to our table. So good to see you here for the weekend. Steven? No, Steven, how you doing? <laughs> Me? And I'm thinking, oh no, Steven. People think that I'm some dude, Steven. Who's a vape star. Who's a vape, big in the vape industry and they're handing me all this stuff to review. And it started to make sense why you got into the joint so quick, because you said there was a big line, but they were just like, no, 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 come on through yeah. this line. Yeah. And handed you an empty bag and said, have at have it. Have at it. So, so this is a classic moment of mistaken identity and opportunity. Yeah, it worked out well. Moving forward, will you be hitting more vape shows? Will you be doing reviews? You can look for me at all the vape <laughs> conventions uh, I'll be doing reviews once I watch a few YouTube videos and how to use these things. Right, right. <laughs> it's going to be and funny because we're, be we're joking here this morning about, you know, if Steven actually went to the show the next day, which is today, and he's getting a total different vibe off everyone because they hooked him up yesterday and today well, he's just like, he's getting hey. nothing. Right. So, what do you think of that vape? What vape? <laughs> right. The one I got. <laughs> So if anybody knows who the, other, the actual Steven is... From us, Florida. From Florida, because we can't figure out who it is. We'd love to contact him and let him know that... This is He'll new be game. doing a review soon. Right. <laughs> They're going to be waiting for that video, so... That's it. We just uh, wanted to share this clip with you because it's a riot. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> 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 uh,